Hello everyone. Today we're going to be talking about graphing waves. We've talked previously about some of the different properties of a wave, and so it turns out that some of them uh, look pretty cool when you decide to graph them. So we'll start off with what's put on the x-axis. Now we can graph things in a number of different ways, which means that the x-axis can be mapped to a number of different properties of the wave. Usually, we use it for time. So we measure how a particular part of the wave varies over time. Makes sense, right? So sometimes it's used as a spatial dimension. That is, to show sort of what the wave looks like at a fixed point in time, rather than showing how the wave varies at a fixed point in space, right? So we can either show how a particular part of the wave changes over time, or we can show what the entire wave looks like at a particular point in time. Now the y-axis of the graph is usually used for the displacement of the particles. We know that in a wave, the particles get displaced, they vibrate back and forth. And so on the y-axis, we show how far it's vibrated. So this will be displaced in the positive direction and this will be displaced in the negative direction. So for transverse waves, this means that the graph will look a bit like the transverse wave. So the transverse waves are the ones that move up and down as they go across. And we can see that if we graph their displacement, it will also go up and down as the graph moves across. Uh, for longitudinal waves, the displacement is parallel, but we still graph it like this. It just means that instead of being up and down, it'll be in the same direction as the wave or in the opposite direction as the wave. So essentially, we can use a graph to transform a longitudinal wave into a transverse wave. What is the amplitude of this wave? I've drawn a bit of a hint on the diagram here, showing you the maximum and minimum displacement of the wave. So the question uh, really is, is the amplitude the distance between the maximum and the minimum displacement? Or is it the distance between the maximum displacement and the rest position in the middle? Well, the answer is that it's the displacement from the rest position. So our amplitude here is 2. The rest position is the position of the particles before they are disturbed by the wave. So they'll be sitting in one position, and then after being disturbed by the wave, they'll start moving up and down. So they'll end up above and below that position. 